Welcome back. In this video, I'm really just continuing where I left off in the previous video. And so I wrote an example and I illustrated nested while loops. And we were kind of create, going through the classic uh, multiplication table kind of example. So I had a form, you pressed go, and I had 25 outputs and I was displaying them to a list box. And this is, this is ugly to look at. I have a scroll bar. Uh, it's a mess. So how can I fix this? I'm sure there's better ways to do it. If you have some suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments because there's a lot of ways you could solve this problem. But let's say I wanted a list box and I wanted a multi-column display. Well, that doesn't lend itself too well to this task, but here's just my kind of general advice on it. So when you are designing your form, your list box has an attribute and it is called, um, multi-column and so if you set that to true then it allows the data to spill over so when it runs out of room in one column it's going to head over to the second now the one thing that you are not going to find here is something about like number of columns or number of rows which would be ideal uh, if we weren't using a list box we could actually put in line breaks and we could do whatever we wanted with this data but given what we're, we've got to work with that's kind of the answer so now if I run this thing let's see what it does now it spills over, and so here's the problem now. You see the, the spills are arbitrary, really. Um, there's not enough showing at once and spilling after two lines. So kind of what that tells us is we need to make this list box taller, and you just kind of have to eyeball it. I think it's the, the height to spell. To, so if you look at what we did, we went up to five in our multiplication table here. So presumably this sh thing should have room for about five rows. But then, you know, the you saw the scroll bar takes up a row as well. So let me run this. And this is kind of a bad video because it uh, I'm not really showing you any programming. I'm just showing you how to set some attributes. And this is just pretty terrible. Oh, at this point I see that I've got some zeros in here. I didn't actually want those. I just wanted one times one, two times two. I never wanted any zeros. So where the heck are those coming from? Good question. Uh, it's when I reinitialized J, I set it to zero. I should set it to one. Let's look at this one more time. I didn't expect to see that. And this is kind of now a multiplication table. Sure, it's ugly as heck. Um, and I'm sh there are better ways to do this. One more attribute that I can set of this form. Uh, so I enabled multi-columns, column width, and this is in pixels. So again, you're playing, you know, I, I didn't know how far do I drag this down to make five things fit in it. How wide do I make it to fit my output? Let's just try 50 pixels and uh, see what that does. Right, we're getting better. And this scroll bar is pretty annoying, so let's uh, just widen it out. And... Now, you'll notice that not having the scroll bar there has allowed us to put an extra line of output, so bump that up one. And you see this is just this big guessing game and still too wide or tall. Now I run it. And I think we've finally got what we want. Now this actually looks like a multiplication table. Sure, it's missing the headings, uh, but we're not going to be able to deal with that using a list box. A better idea would be to use a whole bunch of list boxes or use a different construct which allows you to explicitly put in line breaks. But if you just wanted to format it, you could do this. Right? This isn't as much of a tutorial as it is just a workaround for the last example that we're looking at. Um, generally speaking, if you find yourself monkeying around in the properties window, right, trying to fix things like that, you're usually going about things the wrong way. This example is no exception. Um, you know, if you wanted what we're doing, you probably shouldn't be using a list box in the first place. I just kind of had to make this video because it was just too ugly in my uh, last example. Thanks for watching. Maybe you'll be able to apply this to something else.